Hi everybody and welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. We have James E. Cornette, CM Punk, and Austin Aries in the ring. First off, James E. Cornette said the reason that we're in the ring is because some people in the championship committee thought it would be a great idea if CM Punk would meet Hulk Hogan and Brutus Beefcake. Now, CM Punk, who is now my client, wants to win a bigger belt. He wants to go bigger than he already went. I mean, he already is, what, a free-time TWF World Tag Team Champion, twice with Bobby Roode, once with Brock Lesnar. He's also one-time TWF Hardcore Champion. And now they're going to sell him off by making him win the heart by winning the Real Tag Championship again with Austin Aries. Hold on, CM Punk says. Let's get one thing straight here if we ain't getting anything else straight here. I never really wanted to win the tag team titles three times, but that was the way to get myself in the door. I wanted to win the TWF Hardcore Championship so I could prove that I could win a belt. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is just a joke, CM Punk said. I mean, seriously, the reason that they even gave the belts to Hulk Hogan and Brutus Beefcake in the first place was just because, well, let's just face it, they hadn't couldn't find any other better tag teams to throw it around. The belts had became useless. Actually, the belts were useless the first day they were established. I mean, let's look at some of these tag teams that have the belts, and you tell me if it sounds right. Eclipto and Godzilla. Got Steve Austin and Godzilla. What the hell, Xena and Gabrielle. The New Age Outlaws, Road Dogg and Billy Gunn, the Outsider Skull Hall and Kevin Ash. And for more shits and giggles, Steve Austin and Diamond Dallas Page. I mean, come on, the belts only trace their origins back to 1999, true. But, she 1998, but come on. You would think that they would have more better people. And I don't like Austin Aries. I don't like you either, CM Punk. But, I don't like you either. But what can we do about it? I say we do a protest. I say we do a protest until somebody in some position of authority comes down here and tells us because we ain't doing the match. You ain't doing the match. No, we're not. As far as those belts are concerned, they should just retire the tag team championships. Cause let's face it, it's not like it's not like they're it's not like they're going to come up with any other better tag team to put it around. What a joke that turned out to be. I mean, seriously, that must be a disaster. I need, I want to be treated better than that. No way, shape, or form am I going to. So let me get this straight, Godzilla says. You don't think that you, you're saying that you're not going to wrestle for the TWF World Tag Team Championships. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, that's what you're hearing, P-Brain. So, we're putting you in a match and you ain't wrestling, Kang said. Does that make any damn sense, Godzilla? No, it doesn't, Kang. But here's what we're going to do, Godzilla says. We're going to give you, to the count of three, well, ten, to change your minds. If you don't change your mind by the time we get to 10, you know what's going to happen? Well, put it this way. Uh, King says, actually, Hulk Hogan and Brutus Beefcake have already decided to vacate the TWF World Tag Team Championships. 
But you want to wrestle for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now you know what's going to happen now, Kane says. Well, you guys are now the new world tag team champion. So, Hulk Hogan and Brutus Beefcake vacated the belts not too long ago. Because they couldn't really handle being a tag team. I mean... Brutus Beefcake and Hulk Hogan vacated the belts. The reason is, is because, gentlemen, we can't really find too many tag teams to face them, and we're trying to rebuild our tag team division. So, you got the belts by default anyway. You got the belts by default anyway. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! This isn't what I wanted! Stupid Godzilla and Kang! We ain't... Why don't we just drop the belts right now? Why don't we just drop the belts right now? Because that would be a smart idea. No, you guys are the new TWF World Tag Team Champions. Great. I didn't want these belts. And I'm doing a protest. I don't want the belts. You know. Great. Just great. You know, we can always go to commission. We can always go to general manager, Zena. And executive administrator Gabrielle, she can reverse it. No, I don't think she's going to go against Commissioner Godzilla and Director of Operations Kane's decision to put the belts around us like some freaking punishment. Well, who do you think they're going to get to be our number one contenders? I mean, they ain't going, they ain't going to name Hulk Hogan and Brutus Beefcake again. Those guys already dropped the belt. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know. But this just tells me that nobody knows what the hell they're doing. I'm going to go over, but we're going to go above Executive Administrator Gabrielle, General Manager Zena, Director of Operations Kang, Commissioner Godzilla. We're going to go all the way to the Chief Brand Officer Divatox. And then we have to, the Chief, Exe the Chief Operating Officer Princess Jasmine, the Chief Executive Officer Aladdin. Or... We'll go all the way to the principal owner of Crony Clipdoor themselves. Because I don't think we need to be the real tag team champions. It's not our fault they can't find tag teams. You know, it's not how they did they can't find tag teams. Well, just when you opened your mouth and said they couldn't find tag teams, that was uh, pretty stupid. Annihilation. So, I guess we got new world tag team champions. Oh, but they don't really want it. Well, well, pre-order of the general manager Zena and executive administrator Gabrielle. CM Punk and Austin Aries' tag team that they will fight against will be Cassandra and Matthias the Scorpion King. What the? What the fuck? Deaning, I can't believe this. Apparently we got a tag. Apparently this is a tag team. Wait a minute. Cassandra. Oh, knocked down CM Punk. I'm being mocked here. Cassandra just knocked down CM Punk. Matthias took down Jane. Took down Austin Aries. Get the belts out of the ring. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go on the go on the assumption that Austin Aries is the legal one. What the hell? One, two, three. Ding ding ding. Here are your winners and the new World Tag Team Champions. 
Matthias the Scorpion King, and Cassandra. So apparently we got New World Tag Team Champions. Who would have thought that would have happened? But apparently now Austin, apparently now Austin Aries is. You did it again, CM Punk says. You fucked me over again, Austin Aries. What the hell did you did that happen? You know, this is all Austin Aries' fault. You know, it's all Austin Aries' fault. This jackass had to be my tag partner. And I was starting to actually like the idea of being real tag team champions. What do you do? You don't even have, you don't even try to kick out when Matthias knocked you down, asshole. Hey, CM Punk, Ed, you talk about being the best in the world. Well, I'm the greatest man ever lived. You may have, you're a hypocrite because you didn't want the belts. And I figure we just lay down. And we let Matthias the Scorpion King and Cassandra, you know, get the belts. Hold it. We need this. I'm looking for someone who apparently has good qualities. And let's just face it. And ain't you. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa! Austin Aries just attacked CM Punk. And James e. Cornette just turned on him. That's right, CM Punk. The guy I really want to manage, the guy who's really going places, is not you, CM Punk, but Austin Aries. With faith at CM Punk, Austin Aries is going places. Austin Aries is a multi-time TNA X Division champion. TNA Heavyweight Champion, TNA World Tag Team Champion, twice. CM Punk, why would I want to go with you? I mean, okay, you're a former WWE Intercom Champion, former WWE World Tag Team Champion, three-time World Heavyweight Champion, two-time WWE Heavy World Heavyweight Champion. But seriously, you haven't done nothing that would make me want to manage you. Just a bunch of bullshit and ignorance. Well, I got a man who's better than you. Because you cost us the belts. But thank you for letting us know, CM Punk. Because apparently we, I'm going with Austin Aries. Hold him up. James and Cornette's got CM Punk up again. Oh, he nailed him. Oh. Let me tell you something, Austin Aries said. I am sick and tired of everybody comparing me to you. Sick and tired of you claiming to be the Andy success story. You Andy success story, kiss my ass. You're not the Andy success story. Daniel Bryan is the Andy success story. Not you. And wait, wait a minute. Here comes road agents now. Here comes Angel and here comes Hercules out here. To finally try to break up this fight with the referee back in the ring too. To break up the fight that's been going on. But finally, Austin Aries has finally left the ring. So now James E. Cornette is actually gone with Austin Aries, turned on CM Punk. That's all the time, folks, we got here for Friday Night Smackdown. We'll see you tomorrow for Explosion.